What you have in front of you is a life-size version of the BMT Form 128 Alpha. The purpose of this form is to give you feedback throughout your weeks of training on how you set up your living area. I want you to understand that although you are looking at a life-size version, you're gonna receive a paper version. That is my form. The way in which you receive the form is gonna be the same manner that you return it. You will not fold it, roll it, or wrinkle it. At the top of the form, you have the legend. For those of you who have ever read a map, you know that the legend orients you to areas on the map. This legend does the exact same. Moving down the form to the far left, you have all the items that will be inspected throughout your weeks of training. To the right of that or those items, you're gonna have a gray box. The gray box is going to be where we annotate whether or not that particular item is a failed item. You might be asking yourself, what depicts a failed item? To the right of that, you have all of the discrepancies or demerits that are applicable to that item. I want you to understand that you can receive one demerit or multiple demerit, it still constitutes one failed item. On the first issue appraisal, it's kind of like a progress report. That's the way I want you to think of appraisals. On the first issue, you are allowed up to seven failed items. Anything more than that constitutes an unsatisfactory rating. To the right of that, you have your second issue appraisal or that progress report, that practice. On the second issue appraisal, you're gonna be evaluated on all the items that you were issued in second clothing issue. For the second issue appraisal, you are allowed up to five failed items. Anything more than that constitutes an unsatisfactory rating. Then you have your RLA progress check. For your RLA progress check, I want you to look at the progress check as a report card or the final grade. This is what's gonna to count towards your graduation requirement. On the RLA progress check, you are allowed up to 11 failed items. Anything more than that constitutes an unsatisfactory rating. We all like to display some of that community excellence, more so the personal excellence, but there are days where you might be having just a rough day. And if you happen to get more than the 11 failed items, then you will be reevaluated within two duty days by myself or someone on the instructor team. If you happen to fail that inspection or that progress check, then you will be reevaluated within the next duty day by the instructor supervisor. Is there any questions on the front of this form? Most trainees believe that after that progress check is done or that report card, they can sit back and relax but not here in basic military training. You are always gonna uphold the standard, although your inspection or that final grade has been given to you. And the way we're gonna make sure that you uphold the standard is in the form of a maintenance of standards inspection. The maintenance of standards inspection, the top of the form is very similar to the front of the form in which you have the legend. Moving down the form, we're gonna start at the wall locker. The wall locker, you can receive up to seven failed items. Anything more than that constitutes an unsatisfactory rating. Moving right below that, you have the clothing drawer. The clothing drawer, you're allowed up to two failed items. Anything more than that constitutes an unsatisfactory rating. To the right of that, you have a security drawer. For the security drawer, you are allowed up to three failed items. Anything more than that constitutes an unsatisfactory rating. Then right above that, you have the personal living area. Personal living area, you are allowed up to six failed items. Anything more than that constitutes an unsatisfactory rating. Today, we're gonna to focus on areas specific to our lesson, which was linen exchange bed. I want you to pay close attention to the fact that this trainee or the person on this form received a D demerit for having dusty bed rails. Does anyone have any questions on the maintenance of standards inspection? 